Hello, my name is Edward. Today I'm going to be showing you my current setup of Krita on Android. First of all, the reason I'm making this video is to show you uh, how you can maximize your canvas space on Android because on Android devices, the screens are most likely smaller. So you're going to need to maximize your canvas space in order to be able to focus on the painting you are, you are doing or whatever work that you are currently doing. So when you start creator at first, this is not the current setup you will see. Um, the setup is different. This is my current setup. And uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to reset this application and we'll, I will start from scratch and show you um, every single settings that I, I make and explain to you along the way why I made uh, I made those changes in the settings. So when you first start Krita, this is the setup that you will get. So we are going to change all of this, but first we are going to go into settings, configure Krita. Then in the general um, cursor, you can change this to whatever you want. You come here to windows, use custom fonts, um, use custom interface fonts, Take it and change this size to 11. Uh, the reason you might want to change this is because some of these fonts are currently too big and some of the windows will uh, not fit in the tablet screen. And by changing the size of the, by reducing the size of the font, you know, those windows are going to properly show. Uh, then you go to tools under tool options locations you want to set it in tuba uh, you can disable this if you want personally i disable it i don't use touch painting i use uh, s pen enable touch rotation i also disable this i prefer my canvas in one uh, orientation uh, you also want to hide Docker scroll bars too. File handling, you might want to change this, but it's completely up to you. I use 7. Under miscellaneous, this one, uh, undo stack size, I use uh, 100. Here, I increase this to the maximum, 30. Brush size. You want to change this because this is this the app is mainly optimized for uh, laptops or desktop but uh, most of the brushes at this size they are not going to work well they are going to be very very laggy so i use uh, 500 as max even 500 is laggy sometimes but some of the brushes are still okay at 500 pixels so then you go to you can leave this if you don't uh, have a keyboard like me i don't use uh, keyboard so just go to canvas input settings pan canvas you want to disable mouse button here and disable it because uh we're going to set this up for um we're going to set up middle button for something else for show pop-up palette so you want to disable that because this will interfere with uh, your pop-up pellets so you go to pop-up pellets change add shortcut mouse button then here you can click uh, your your stylus here you don't have to touch the screen you can just hover over it and click the button and it will register a uh, middle button then next you go to display under miscellaneous you can change this it's completely up to you whatever you want to do here i prefer to change the uh, canvas border color and that and You also want to hide canvas scroll bars because they take up space here and at the bottom. Then color, 
this is up to you performance i increased mine to 4000 but it's also up to you if your if your device is uh, weaker you don't want to use up all your device's memory because other applications on your device will uh will also need them advanced i also disable this tablet settings this is my own personal preference but it's up to you then canvas only settings i disabled this only two bars and you will see why later i'm going to leave this blank for now but you can input your uh, data here and this also up to you in s pen actions nothing here currently works on my device uh, i don't know why so you can just completely skip it and hit ok and then you want to exit this application and start again so that's what i'm going to do so we are back uh, as you can see after some of the settings we made uh, the font sizes have reduced you can now see the full fonts on uh, the titles of these dockers here and you will soon uh, see uh, some of the other advantages of this um, but for now the next step is we are going to configure uh, we're going to change this toolbar and then we are going to remove the status bar here in order uh, in order to increase uh, to maximize your canvas space so we go into settings configure toolbars so you can just do what i'm doing here uh, or you can just add on whatever you feel is uh, important to you but uh, this is my current setup that i use uh, so we're going to leave new we're going to leave open we're going to leave save we're going to add save us save us Then we're going to add export. Then we're going to add um, image background color and transparency. This is for um, maybe when you're already painting and you want to change uh, the background color, you can just click on this and change your background color then next we're going to re add resize canvas then in consideration of not having a uh, keyboard you might want to add clear so what this does is it clears uh, an entire layer and then you want to add uh, brushes after here You want to add the brush to you can remove this separator if you want then next we are going to add uh, the color picker then set eraser mode Then you want to add your painter's tools. And then you want to add color. And then you click apply. As you can see, it's currently weird now, but it will change after. Uh, for now we'll leave it as it is then just go to brushes and stuff you want to remove every single thing here you can just double tap and they will go away so the first thing we are going to add is we are going to put put expanding spaces one two then we want to add your workspaces then you want to add a full screen mode 
and then you want to add quit so this will quit the application so then you click apply and you click ok as you can see everything is now set up ok so now we want to remove this bar down here the status bar so we go to settings again view and then you scroll and untick this show status bar you no longer need it this will maximize your canvas space then next we want to customize our dockers so you can't move them around now without opening a file create so you can use this to hide your bar here so i've already set up um, my dockers already but uh, and back them and save them as a bundle file so i'm just going to import them and uh, show you so to import bundle you go to settings manage resources then you can import bundles here creator creator bundles uh, these are my workspaces that i already set up so tap it and now they've been imported okay so we're just going to go ahead and delete some of these ones that we are not using okay so these are my current workspaces paint photo editor and vector illustration you can always hide these uh dockers here if you want to focus more on your canvas while painting which is usually what i do so for instance when you so after we set up uh s pen during settings if you remember you can now just click the button without tapping the screen and you will see this uh pop-up palette and over here you can mirror your canvas or and you can hide or this except this bar from uh, when we um, excluded it in the settings so you can do like so and just focus more on your painting now um, on your Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 and um, there might be something else that could conflict with uh, hovering and clicking which is uh, I'm going to show you you go to settings, your Samsung settings, uh, advanced features, S Pen, and open air command. This can interfere with your um, pop up palettes. If you because if you if you leave it enabled and you click, this is what you get. So let's go back to Krita. You click. This also comes up. You don't want this. Uh, so. You have to disable it now in your settings. If you liked uh, some of the uh, options that this air command gives, you can always uh, use your sidebar in your Samsung uh, device. Uh, you can also enable this and get some of the options that that you might need. Uh, for example, you can crop your screen you can capture your screen and so on you can also set it up so that you can use uh, your volume up and your volume down button to capture your screen if that's what you want so we'll exit here and go back to Krita so next well, I'm, I'm going to change the color of these uh, windows because I prefer them darker so to change uh, the theme you go settings themes i use uh krita darker and there we go you're going to need to exit and come back because as you can see this hasn't changed yet so exit no. also note that uh, this also changes depending on what tool you have selected here 
in the pop-up so if you have a different tool selected you're going to have different options and so on so you can also just tap and hold your screen and it will also bring up some uh, your pop-ups here we are, next we're going to change the size of this um, of your layer the thumbnail size just click this here and increase it uh, I've been painting on some other Android painting applications and I'm used to bigger layer thumbnails so as you can see you can increase the thumbnail now without losing uh, the name of uh, the layer because uh, the font size was reduced in, in the settings and so on you can also drag layers here by hovering over them clicking and holding the button and just moving it around as you can see you can change where you want them to be you can also select here by placing your uh, by double tapping with your stylus pen and then dragging and it will select all the layers here but this can be problematic if you have um, way too many layers because uh, because then there is no space for you to tap so uh, if you want to change your background color of your canvas you can come here and do so which is why we added it there so you can always change your background color you can also resize your canvas here and uh, the reason why i added this clear button here you see if you click on uh, layer as you can see there is currently no option to clear here which is why it was added here you can always clear by just clicking that you can also switch between color pickers in your brush and eraser mode So if you noticed earlier, um, when we were in settings, configure, I said uh, we should put that, we should uh, tick um, tool options locations in toolbar. So whenever you uh, select a tool, let's say anything. You can just click here and this is where your tool options will be um, it saves you space you don't need to put them in the dockers anymore you can just click here and you see your tool options so let's pick another tool the options are now there it's very very convenient now for brush settings as you can see, we also change uh, the brush size. The maximum brush size is 500. Most brushes are very, very slow. But as you can see, this is a bit fast, but that's because I'm using a smaller size brush. So the bigger your canvas, the slower. Also, the faster you move your brush, the slower it's going to be. Now, in the meantime, in order to uh, reduce this lag, you can just come here and uh, increase spacing. Sorry. So if you increase the amount of spacing, you can reduce the lag. As you can see, it's faster. It's faster now. So in case you're having trouble with uh, lag, you can just click and uh, re um, increase the spacing here and your brushes should work a bit faster, even at a bigger size.
and over here the colors you can always see which color is currently active so whenever you pick a color here as you can see it's changing here too so that's why it's uh, there because uh, in the situation whereby you are using a full screen and all these dockers are hidden you might uh, want to see uh, the color that you are current that is currently active there yes so uh, if you have any questions just leave it in the uh, comment section i'll try my best to answer every single question uh, so the link to these workspaces that i have here i'm going to add it in uh, the video description in case you would like to use them so this is what they look like again so this one is for painting photo editing right now um, i personally consider Krita to be the best photo editing app on android like most other applications they definitely can't do what you'll be able to do uh, in Krita and uh, vector illustration mm, i don't do animation so i didn't set up any user interface for uh, for animations but if you do animations you can always um, change your dockers in case you don't know how to change that it's just go to settings dockers and you can enable them you can always drag to wherever you want them to be you can always move dockers around to wherever you want them to be uh, so on So that's it for now. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section. And uh, next, uh, I'll probably be looking at Krita on Note 9 because I also have a Note 9. And if you see uh, one of my older videos, I did a painting in Note 9 and it works well. But uh, I haven't really set it up because I currently use uh, my Tab X6 for all of my digital paintings because it's bigger screen and it's more convenient and uh, yeah so see you later in the next video bye